If you really want to know how you're going to score most of your buckets in a real game, it's going to be off of zero second decisions. I'm telling you this now. And this is massive for any player to understand. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to be showing you mostly college clips here because although you may not watch it as much as the NBA, it's probably the most realistic to all other styles of play. And what I want you to pay attention to here is how quickly these decisions are made. It's like they're making this decision before they even catch it. As soon as they get the ball, they're either driving, shooting, or passing. And if you look at any college team, at least 20% of their shots come off these quick decisions on spot ups. So this could be driving, shooting, whatever, but somewhere where it's a catch and then quickly making something happen. So you have to get good at these decisions. And the main reason why these are so big is because we're often attacking closeouts here. And closeouts only last for a few milliseconds, especially as you get up to higher levels, those defenders are out there and set, ready to lock up fast as hell. If we wait even a half second sometimes, this allows them to get set. If we make our decision right away, or even before you catch, like I'll talk about later, their momentum is still coming towards you. And this is so much easier to get by them or create an advantage on them than when they're set. It's literally night and day. Plus the entire defense is rotating over towards you. So if you can get a jump on this attack, you'll have a much better chance at getting a free lane without the help having time to step over. So how can we do this? Well, number one, preferably, you're a knockdown shooter out of these catches. Obviously, if you can let this fly and knock it down consistently, it's a huge opportunity to score more points, but it also keeps the defense honest, keeps them sprinting at you instead of sitting back waiting for you to come to them. They're way more sensitive to these quick pump fakes, and these things make a world of difference. Then it's gonna be about reading momentum, understanding which angle they're closing out with, where their top foot is, etc. Now this happens so fast that often, as I'll talk about, this is more of a reflex than something you actually think about. But keep in mind that the defense will always be giving up something on a closeout. It's just finding what that option is. And we can't forget monitoring the help defense and the other four defenders on the court. Yes, it's important to read that first initial defender on the closeout, but the best players not only get a feel for where their closing out defender is, but where the rest of the defense is. And honestly, the best players are likely aware of all of this before they even catch. They're subconsciously making that read before they even get that ball. difference in the score right now no question about it the number of points that uh, Mississippi State has left on the board and what I notice with players who aren't comfortable with this is that often even subconsciously they're waiting for that defender to get set so they can get in their bag and pull out that ISO package which is understandable and there's a time and place for that but not often within most systems plus even though ISO may seem like you can get a tough bucket out of there I'd argue that most tough buckets that players get are off of these types of situations since you automatically have the defense at your mercy, you can still get crafty. You can still change speed and get shifty and pull out moves you've been working on. In fact, it's even easier to do this in situations like this. And then even if you don't score here, what it does is create disadvantages. If you hold it, it's not just your defender that gets set, but the entire defense that now resets and you have to restart that ball movement. Now on the flip side of this, keep in mind that I don't want to rush you either. If they're closing out, chances are you will be much better off just trusting your instincts and making that decision right away. But if there's nothing there, you know, maybe there's not much of a closeout, for example, then of course, take your time, stay composed and find the right option. It's all about finding a balance as usual. And then the last thing I'll mention is how to train this. This isn't something you just do. It's usually not something where you just watch this video and now you're at the level of all these players making these zero second decisions. You gotta train this often. These are super rapid fire decisions and if you don't have experience making these, it still may help you to apply this. But what I really want you to do is get out and try this, play closeout one-on-one, -on -one, play different drills where you're reading these closeouts, where you're making these decisions super quickly. And I promise you your game and your overall efficiency is gonna be taken to a whole nother level. So as as always thank you guys for tuning in make sure to follow me on instagram at by any means basketball for a lot more like this and stay tuned